In this video, we will show you how to install RPA Express on multiple machines with one central server. This type of deployment makes it possible for users to implement automated workflows on their machines with only the workstation component installed. For end-to-end -end automation, they will be able to publish their scripts to a central control tower hosted on a dedicated machine where the application server is installed. All business processes will run on the server in parallel on multiple unattended bots. This type of setup is performed in the following ways. Set up the server machine, where you will install the application server. Set up workstation on the user's machine. You will need to provide the DNS or IP address of the server to install the workstation. Repeat workstation installation on another user's machine if necessary. Now let's see the installation process in detail. First, you need to install RPA Express on the server. Note that the machine on which you install the server component needs to use a server operating system. This can be Windows Server 2012, 2012 R2, or 2016. Download and run the RPA Express installer. Read and accept the end user license agreement. Enter the email address you used when you registered for RPA Express and click Next. Check the application server and click Next. You will be asked to specify the desired number of bots that will run concurrently on the server. We will select three bots and click Next. On the next step, create the admin account credentials that will be used to access RPA Express components. Specify the folder where RPA Express will be installed or leave the default one and click Install. Now, we will install the workstation component on the first developer's machine. You will need to run the same installer file, but this time, check only the workstation component. On the next step, you'll be asked for the server's DNS or IP address. You can go to the server and get its IP address, for example, by running the ipconfig command in the command prompt. You also need to specify user credentials to access the control tower. The installation is complete. You need to repeat the workstation installation for each developer's machine. Now let's see how components installed on multiple machines work together. On a workstation machine, we launch WorkFusion Studio and create a simple script that will open a weather website and look up the weather forecast for a particular location. We will publish the script to the control tower hosted on the server. Open the control tower. We will add an input data file, so the process will be executed for several locations. Click Run this process to start execution on the server, unattended. If you switch to the server via an RDP connection, you can see the process is executed on all three bots in parallel. 